here at the stadium in Wilmington as we continue to head through the dog days of summer, gearing up for the school year. Most of our traditional students will head back to school on Monday of next week. For you, Coach, head coach of uh, Cape Fear Community College men's soccer team, class is already underway. Actually, we're exactly to Sonny Jane over to number 44. Cue the wall with the left-handed strike off the side of the net. Nice little combination there. Started off with Brian Ackley wearing the captain's sleeve. Quickly played on to Sonny Jane with the header and the wall dangerous from that distance. The far post, Will Heaney on the far side as well. They're going to look for Heaney with the left foot. Had an open net there if he had a chance. Just topped it over a little bit. Got under it earlier today. Probably a little more steamy. But right now it's cooled down well. As Sonny Jane will play a nice ball to DeFrager. DeFrager with the cross to Q-Law. The wall and the wall just missed an easy put back and put in the back of the net. Well played there. Nice combination from Jane to Frager and the wall. DeFrager continues to move forward now. Looking for the wall as he tries to stay on side. He does so. It's the wall with some space towards his right. And the strike in. Oh, beautiful shot there. Just bent the wrong way. But a great strike there by the wall as he's had probably the two best shots so far tonight. Get into a looping ball. Looking for Jane. It'll be Heaney with the left footed strike from outside the 18 yard box off the crossbar of the American football field goal. Andre Campbell continues to pr uh, pr provide a threat from back to front. Nicholson with some space with a right-footed shot, and it sails out of play, which could potentially open up a hole or two for FC Montreal as it's the wall dribbling. He has some space. No, it's deflected off the left foot, and it will be a goal kick. A couple of tough guys to mark in the box. To the far post, finds Heaney, and he heads it right into the ground, and with that turf, the ball just... To DeFrager. DeFrager, the centering pass to the wall, and the wall just unable to come up with the finishing touch. Yeah, Joe, I mean, it's what we talked about earlier. Dominguez, haven't heard much of him, and he says, well, off the crossbar. Marco Dominguez from 30 yards out, stole the wall now with a great opportunity, sends one, skies one. Over the net, Q the wall has had several chances tonight. Yeah, that's the one that you need, and all you got to do is just put it on frame. And you... We've got Wheeler, the big man in the back. Martinez will send a low stroke, and it finds. Looked like Troy Cole. Play to the far side, so. And Rawls has to hammer it away. Again, that turf, knowing, understanding <laughs> where you are on the pitch. I mean, FC Montreal just threw that one in, not thinking anything of it. But that way, that ball hopped by Rawls. And that should about do it as Erbacher continue, And that'll do it. Final whistle here at Legion Stadium. We'll end tonight's match tied nil-nil. Both teams will earn one point in the USL standings. Chris, as we uh, wrap it up on uh, Pink Night here to benefit the Pink Ribbon Foundation as part of New Hanover Regional Medical Center. Another great crowd here in Wilmington. No goals, unfortunately. But for the Hammerheads, they're able to get one point in the standings. Maybe some final thoughts as we wrap up uh, tonight's telecast. 